Hello everybody. For those who didn't see the first part, I'm giving you a 30 second review of part 1. Here it comes. We are going to start with the spherical theory. So, it's simple. We take a ball and we call it Earth. We surround this ball with another ball and we call it the plasma belt. Then we take the sun and we let it shine on the Earth. The Earth is giving a reflection on the plasma belt. And on the plasma belt, we see our own reflection. The reflection is, surprise, the moon. What do you mean, the moon is the reflection of Earth? What do you mean, where are all the rivers and the forests? Yeah, but let's suggest that Earth is a thousand times bigger then we are told. Then the moon is a reflection of a gigantic big earth. So let's move over to the flat earth. It's simple. We take the flat earth and we zoom in into the moon. And then we see all those circles, the so-called asteroids impacts. Well, let's suggest that one of those asteroids impacts is a flat earth. That would mean that we are surrounded by other biosystems. Here is part two. I would suggest fasten your seat belts. It's going to be a heavy ride. Okay, people will say, well, this theory, it's not real. What are you going to do with a solar eclipse? Okay, I will explain solar eclipse to you. Watch this. Before we go any further, I would like to remind you of the theory of Plato, the allegory of the cave. In fact, we think we see something, but we really see shadows of the real world. So, first we take the sun. Then we take the earth. We create the plasma belt. On the plasma belt, we see the reflection of the sun. On the plasma belt, we see the reflection of Earth. The reflection of the sun is shining on the Earth. So everybody is thinking that the sun is shining on us, but in reality, it's the reflection of the sun that is shining on us. So, what is a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse is the reflection of the Earth, the so-called Moon, is blocking the reflection of the Sun. If Obama would be standing before the mirror and his mirror image would block the Sun behind him and he thought that the guy in the mirror was someone else, he would say, hey, this guy is taking away my light, please move aside. But in reality, it would be himself, his mirror image, that is blocking the light. Now, I will take you one step further. It's even more crazy. Listen to this. Okay, but now we have one giant problem. One side of the earth has been lit by the reflection of the sun. But the other side is dark. How is that possible? if the sun is shining there. And then I remembered from our good friends, the Nazis, they had a cult, a cult of the Schwarze Sonne, the black sun. So I thought, maybe our sun is black. That was a gigantic idea. And I will explain it to you. Well, the old theory is, you have darkness, and the light is shining in the darkness. What if this theory was wrong? Let's suggest that there is black light and white light. And white light would be the inversion, the reflection of black light. So, so if you have a black sun shining and it mirrors in the plasma, it could become white light. So, white light is the reflection of the black light in the plasma belt. 
So when you are standing outside at night, the black light is shining on you. I know it sounds crazy, but let's assume that water is reflecting black light and is turning it into white light. Plasma is a form of water. So if the black light is shining at night on the earth, the black light will be reflected by the water on the earth and it will become white light. That white light will reflect on the plasma belt. So if you look in the sky and you see all those white dots, that could be all water worlds on a gigantic globe. So the stars would be a map of the earth reflected on the plasma belt. So, and what star would be the earth well it's quite simple there is only one star that is not moving that is the polar star polaris so when you see a time lapse of the stars turning that means that the earth is turning and at the center stands polaris so i looked on the internet for a photo of polaris and I discovered one, the best possible resolution. So I took Polaris. I made it a little bit darker. And then I took the flat earth. Oh my God. <laughs> this is not true. Yes, I guess it is true. We are Polaris. We are the reflection. Polaris is the reflection of earth. If we could take a gigantic telescope, we could see ourselves mirrored on the plasma belt. So I really don't know if you're still sitting in your chair. You might be lying on the floor, laughing or crying. I don't know. Maybe you say this guy is nuts. <laughs> okay, no problem. But I'm afraid I might be right. Sleep well, my friends.